So Meta isn't stopping with just one display in your glasses. The next version they're working on will actually have dual displays, one in each lens. That means you could glance at messages on one side while keeping navigation or another app running on the other. It's not full-blown AR yet, but it's way closer to that future than what we have now. And hey, before we go further, make sure you subscribe. It's quick, it's free, and it keeps you plugged into updates like this as soon as they drop. Now, for context, the current Ray-Ban display glasses only have a tiny screen tucked into the right lens cool idea, but a little limited. With this dual lens setup Meta's testing, the experience suddenly feels way more useful, like having split screen for your eyes. It's not true AR yet, no holographic dragons in your living room, but it's a serious step toward that future. Initially expected around 2027, insiders say Meta's aggressively moving the timeline forward. Tom's Guide speculates an announcement as early as Meta Connect 2026, though no official date is confirmed. If that pans out, we're looking at sharper dual micro OLEDs, faster chips, better battery life, and deeper AI integration. The way Meta frames it, there are three levels of eyewear. Camera-only glasses like the current Ray-Ban models, display AI glasses that add useful on-lens information, and then the holy grail, fully immersive AR glasses sometimes referred to as Artemis. This dual display model sits right in the middle, bridging the gap. It's not full AR yet, but it's training your eyes to get used to having information layered on top of your world. So if the roadmap holds, 2026 is when dual display glasses step into the spotlight, and 2027 is when we'll finally see true consumer AR. But let's be real, tech timelines are slippery, targets can shift, projects get delayed, still the direction is clear. Meta wants your next pair of glasses to be more than just sunglasses. They want them to be screens you'll actually want to wear. So what about you? Would you grab the current Ray-Ban display glasses or hold out for the upcoming dual display ones? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.